Hey everybody, my name is Tommy Kraft, and I'm here to bring you the fifth Star Trek Horizon video blog. I'm finally giving you the captain's chair and the process we went through to get this thing done. Now, I was very lucky in this process in that my brother is a mechanic and very skilled at building things and putting things together. And this idea I had is actually one that I got from reading about the captain's chair on the Defiant from Deep Space Nine. We actually got a chair out of an old junked car at the shop where he works. The first step after a basic cleaning to make sure there were no nasty nasties from sitting in a junked car for who knows how long was to build a base so we can attach a swivel to the bottom of the chair which will allow the captain to pivot uh, left and right in any direction he wants. And here he is getting the swivel attached and ready for the first round of basic welding just to make sure everything is in the right spot. And then after that the whole base comes off the chair for the final round of welding. And now it's time to break out the plasma cutter. Unfortunately, it's not warp plasma. This piece of metal is being constructed to attach to the swivel, which will then attach to the full base of the chair. This essentially is the contact point between the base that the chair sits on. And now it's time for the fun part, constructing the actual swivel base of the chair. The first part is to cut the metal rods that will hold it all together and fit them to the metal plate on the bottom of the chair. Then next is to weld them all on, make sure they're nice and tight. You can see some smoke coming out of the top of one of them there. And this very rudimentary basic setup, you can already see how it's going to start coming together. Captain's log, supplemental, one dash, two dash. When the chair is finished, the sides of the base will come down on an angle. And what's happening right here is measuring the metal that will go on the bottom so the corners can be mitered to fit that angle perfectly. As will happen often in this video, more metal is being cut. And there you can just see the mitered edges and now finally welding the floor pieces in place. Looky there at that nice big piece of sheet metal. It's time to once again break out the plasma cutter. And as you can see, this plate was made for the bottom of the floor pieces. And now you can see how it's really starting to take shape. It's still very much a skeleton, but you can see how the metal will come down on the sides and on the front to form a very nice captain's chair shape. And now after filing down the mitered edges of the floor pieces, it's time to use the plasma cutter again to cut out the metal pieces that will form the walls of the base. I was hoping with this chair to kind of go with an in-between of the more swooshy looking Enterprise chair to the one that's more stocky in the original series. And I think using this kind of angular base shape, we were able to get a good look. Using a printout guide, the designation number for the ship was traced onto the front of the chair's base, and then the numbers and letters were cut out using the plasma cutter. This is one of the cool features of the chair, where a light will actually go inside the base to give the numbers and letters some illumination. And it's one of those little details that won't be distracting, but it'll also be a nice little thing to look at, and it's also something we haven't seen before on a captain's chair. And you can see with even just the base layer of primer finally going on, how much of a difference that makes. But now it's time to actually start painting the base. It's hard to tell in this shot, but it's actually a nice black finish that's being applied to the base. We don't have armrest done yet, but it's finally starting to come together. And now with just a little cell phone light being shown in the back, you can see what the numbers will look like. The metal has been cut for the armrest, and the basic shape has come together. This is how it looks, more or less, on the chair. And now, it's time to start welding it all together. And there it is with the armrest. Starting to look pretty cool, huh? And this is time to do a little bit of filing once again on the weld seams. And full lumbar support!
Oh, I need some stirrups. Now that the main pieces of the chair are all together, it's time for the finishing elements. What's being cut now is a piece of metal that will be used for the armrest where an Acer tablet that I bought will go. The tablet is just supposed to be a screen in the armrest that gives the captain an interface to various ship systems and important messages. The round hole was cut in the plate so it would be easy to push out from the bottom when I need to take the tablet out. And now, welding the metal pieces together, we did take the tablet out first, um, you can see how it will sit on the chair. After filing down some more edges, the next part was to cut out a top plate for the tablet. This will go over the edges of the tablet and the little inset that the tablet is in to help give it a flush look with the rest of the chair so it doesn't look like an Acer tablet sitting in the chair. Now after some more sanding and primer goes on, the armrest is starting to look pretty cool. And now comes the construction and addition and the welding of plate number two that goes on the opposite armrest of the chair. Finally, now that construction is complete on the main part of the chair, a final coat of primer goes on before it's taken home to the studio to be painted. There's some wood on the armrest there that will be covered with vinyl and will serve as the cushioned armrest for the chair. And this is the finished captain's chair. What do you all think? Shoot me a message and let me know. I can't thank my brother Sean enough for building this for me. He really did a great job and I couldn't have done it without him. The chair... That's actually pretty old news. That was finished a while ago, but it took me a good deal of time just to get this whole thing all together in the video blog. We've been shooting for a while now, and we've gotten a lot done. These are clips from the preparation for one of our first big green screen shoots. This is actor Dave Wonderlick getting in costume and getting makeup on, and that's Caroline Kelly Rankin there getting her makeup on, with makeup artist Vera Kazoos doing the makeup. And just a couple of behind the scenes stills from the shoot. Some of you may have seen these from the Facebook page. Uh, there's Caroline stealing the captain's chair. And for those of you who don't know, we do have a Facebook page, and the link will be across the bottom and in the description, where I'll release shots from the film as I finish them. These are some finalized shots from one of the battle sequences in the film. And this is another shot of something mysterious. What could it be? And finally, we have the NX-04 Discovery herself. The model of the ship is just about done. I know I've said that before, but it's true this time. And in the next video blog, I will have full details on the ship, and I'll be releasing the model for free for anybody to use and download as they please. And finally, for those of you who don't know, we have our official Star Trek Horizon website up and running. The link will, of course, be in the description and is running across the bottom of the screen. It's StarTrekHorizon.com. All one word, just StarTrekHorizon.com. And that's about all I have for you in this video blog. Until next time, live long and prosper.